Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So I, so I just, um, just like a little bit ago, I got, um, I, I just got a, um, string fruit. I found, I purchased my second 500k random fruit. And I got a string, which is my first fruit that I've gotten and it actually has a full move set. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna real quickly get enough stats so I can actually showcase this. Let's quickly add a portion of one dollar Robux because I did not have enough. So, I'm gonna put like 150 into fruit because I think I'm actually gonna use fruit a lot more now. Um, I'll put 150 in defense, why not? And I'll put um 25 25 more in defense, and then I'll put the rest into sword. Okay, well there we go. So. This this fruit has um full full moves, which is the max moves for any fruits. So first off is the one that you need the requirements for string string web. Oh, it looks so cool. So it's basically like AOB. So I'm actually gonna showcase what this is on afterwards. So the X move. Oh, then actually, oh maybe it's only maybe it only works. Maybe it's one of those things that only work on. Like. Oh, that's so cool. And the old string cage. Whoa. I assume that traps people in it. Oh yeah, that's basically makes nobody be able to come in and nobody be able to leave. Wait, how long does it last for? Wait, how it's lasting for a while. Okay, there we go, now it's gone. So it does last a while. And the next one, the last one, String Sequel. Oh. It might only walk on, um, it might only walk on, uh, on, on it, when you're using it on an NPC. So I'm gonna real quickly head over to the, um, Stored Island, and test this out. Also, um, somebody found a, um, Ice Fruit, I believe, in the Soulful, right after I got String. Oh, somebody else's string, too. Well, this is really cool. I'm so happy they finally got a fruit with a full move set. It's taken me so long. Okay, so I'm quickly heading back over to Spawn Island so I can actually test it out. So there are no movement abilities. I wish those things, like, in One Piece Legendary, you were able to, um, like, like, um, basically Spider-Man on Thin Air. You did, like, just, like, um, make a string and go in the air and you can, like, grapple off of it. Same thing in Blocks Fruit. I have no clue... I, I, like, you know, it's like basically Spider-Man, but you don't, but you just do it on thin air. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I don't know how that's supposed to work, but it works. I, I think it would be cool if it was something like that, we actually had to grapple onto something. Like, like I had, like, insane range, I could use it to go in between islands. Like something broken and dumb like that, because why not? Okay, so I'm nearly here, and then after that, then once I get here, I'm going to showcase it on NPCs. And I'm really excited to show this because it's also my, my first time. Also, I've okay, so finally made it to Spawn Island. So time to test out the um move. Okay, so the first move. Ooh, 302 damage with um with 150. Uh, Devil Fruit Pal, that's not that high of a damage, it's AOB, yeah? and I assume it's also a pretty good stun, too. So next is String Vaughn. Oh, it did a- that looks really cool, though, I love how it looks. So I wanna test its- I wanna test its, um, I wanna see what its damage is. 377, I think it also probably- it probably applies a bone effect, and also has a pretty small cooldown. And String Cage, I don't think actually- it literally just traps people in it and traps people out, too. Okay, so in the last move is String Sequel, which we haven't been able to test yet. Oh, that's so cool. How much damage? What? It killed, like, everybody here. How much How much damage did that do? How about its cooldown? It has such a tiny cooldown. 302 damage, but its AoE is massive. Wow. This is really strong, actually. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!